Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And behind me, hooked to the truck, ready to go, is Project Drift Sock. Guys, today's Short Tip Saturday video is going to take us out to the water as we prepare to get a transducer ready for the boat. So, let's go. Alright guys, for today's project we're going to be installing a Humminbird side imaging transducer to this 14 foot aluminum John boat. But in order to do it correctly and get the angle set the way it needs to be for the best possible imaging, we're going to have to put the boat on the water. And guys, the reason behind that is every boat sits differently in the water depending on the size, depending on how you store your gear, everything. Every little bit affects that boat. When you're sitting in there, you want that transducer to be level to the bottom, front to back, and side to side. So the easiest way to do that, we're going to take a torpedo level, a marker, and a pocket full of pennies, and head out to the water, and I'll show you guys how to level the transducer and get the best quality images out of your side imaging unit. So let's get on the road. Step one. Along with your bag of pennies, label two additional bags, one with front to back, the other with side to side. Step two, mark the location of your level using a pencil or marker. Step three, remember side imaging only works while you are moving. Start your engine. Run at the same speed at which you intend to use your side imaging fish finder. Step four, with your level in place, stack pennies under one end. Repeat until the horizontal bubble is between the lines, indicating you are level. Step five, because of wear, not all pennies are the same thickness. Put the ones you just used into the bag marked front to back. Step six, mark the location of your level for side to side measurement. Step seven, stack pennies under one end of the level until level is achieved. Store the pennies used in the bag marked side to side. Step eight, put your boat back on the trailer and go home. Step nine, put your level back into position and place the pennies from the front to back bag beneath the end. Step 10, raise or lower the tongue of your trailer as necessary until level is achieved on the front to back axis. Step 11, place level into side to side position and place pennies. Use a jack to raise or lower one side of the trailer until level. Step 12, install transducer mount per manufacturer's instructions. Hold level to underside of transducer Adjust for side to side level. Tighten mounting bolts or screws securely. Step 13. Hold level to underside of transducer. Adjust up or down until level on the front to back axis. Securely tighten the mounting bolt. Step 14. Finalize installation by routing the transducer cable according to manufacturer's instructions. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's Short Tip Saturday video. I hope this one has helped you out. Guys, having a transducer leveled to how your boat sits in the water is going to give you better quality imagery on your fish finder, regardless of brand, every single time. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and hit the little bell. That way you get a notification anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, if you have any questions at all about getting these transducers leveled, leave it down in the comments. I'll do my best to get an answer for you. And if you have an idea for something you'd like to see me cover on Short Tip Saturday, leave that in the comments as well. You may get to see it answered in an upcoming video. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you out. And until next time, We'll catch you out on the water.